the, this is a strange relationship. It is Isha Singh who told me that a master is your first, friend first and master afterwards. If he's not even your friend, he cannot be your master. He said, it is a friendship. It's love. It's a love affair. A spiritual love affair. Of the highest order, the purest love that you can ever experience is that love for a master. And that friendship is the best friendship you can ever have. Isha Singh told from his own experience. And that was also my experience. That a master is friend first. And master, mastery we discover afterwards. We know a person, he is a human being. And that's the very reason why these perfect living masters are so ordinary. It's only an ordinary person of our status, of our station, who can be our friend. And I give an example that supposing he's a superman, supposing a master is a superman and flies around. Supposing one master were to fly in this auditorium right now and we will all look at a man flying. What will be our thought? If somebody says that's a master, we will say, no, it's just a flying man, he's trick, playing a trick, there must be some rope attached, we will all look at what the, how he's flying. Supposing we find he's really flying, there's no rope attached, some of us will get frightened, some of us will get abused, some of us will might admire. Some of us might even worship, but none of us will be a friend of that person. But if he falls down while flying, most of us will run to help him. And first time, a sign of friendship can come at that time. Ordinariness in our own life is necessary for friendship. Ordinariness at our level. That is why these perfect living masters, they become as ordinary as the seekers they come to, as the disciples they come to. They come to their level. With children, they are like children. With grown-ups, they are like grown-ups. With people who are very simple, they are simple. With intellectual people, they will be intellectual. It is an amazing adaptability that these masters show, and I watch this great master exhibiting all these qualities. How people found him as a friend, somebody they can rely upon, somebody who could say, we can keep our trust. I saw people who would never share their personal secrets and life on the very first time meeting great master and sharing their personal secrets and life. He inspired confidence. He inspired confidence of a true friend. And that's why it's something unique in a perfect living master that his unconditional love can create these things, feelings in us and make us drawn to him in such a way. Of course, later on we discover that the real secret of the spiritual path itself is unconditional love. There's nothing else the rest they do for our minds. Meditation, dietary restrictions, eat this, don't eat this, follow this, don't follow this, all the rules are for the mind. The love, unconditional love is for the soul. They have not come for our body, not come for our mind, they have come for our soul. They come that the soul has had enough of travail during this show that they came to. And now it's time to go back and they come with their unconditional love and take them back home. That's the beauty of the great master. We are celebrating the abundance, the affluence and abundance of this Bandara. And you can imagine how one feels. Sometimes people say, do you feel sad that he died on the 2nd of April in 1948? We are not celebrating his birthday, we are celebrating his death day. How many people celebrate death days? The reason why we celebrate this Bandara is it is not death at all. It is alive in a different form. You have a contact with the perfect living master more close, more regular, more uniform, more 24-7 when he is in the radiant form inside you than when he was in the physical form. So physical form is a temporary form. We are temporary, master is temporary. We have temporary bodies, masters are temporary bodies. We both die, everybody dies, all masters of history have died. <laughs> Nobody lives forever, but the inner master and our inner soul is immortal, has never been born, never will die, it just takes different forms for experiences. We have taken a human form, a great form, 
gives us an opportunity to be drawn and found by a perfect living master when we are ready. Such is the beauty of this master. Somebody wrote to me this morning, after looking at this picture, your master is very sexy. <laughs> I was surprised to see that. But you know, we all have our points of view, how we appreciate it. <laughs> that must be somebody's point of view. I suppose some female admirer. 